Okay, I set an unrealistic goal for myself of one dollar in total. At first, there is no chance of error at all. So let's see how many we reach as far as we have enough strength for the evening. I hope to collect some pleasant amount, but you already know how many overclock can turn out. Scalpin is our favorite technical analysis, our favorite everything we love. We use one dollar today in overclocking. A great plus and you can even still trade it here and we'll do it we'll open a deal to lower okay yeah i don't really want to trade on such a currency pair but there are still such volumes down all down Excellent. Plus 474 on the balance sheet. We are slowly but surely moving towards the goal. So the reverse situation with the trend for an increase is the same. Pushy volumes, but they have already gone into decline. It can be seen that it has been pushed up quite a lot. And well, the worst moment is opening a deal for an increase here. So fine, 8.58 on the balance sheet, we continue. Well, here the trend is strong for a decrease, here we need to put MACD on a decrease. Here it shows volumes at the top, but I'm not sure that they will last here for a long time. Now I will start going down, in any case, we put it normally on a rollback of volumes a little, that is the price should not go up much, I assume, but it can be here somewhere maybe, but it will still be somewhere here, well, let's see. Well, basically, as expected, we traded on the decline here, ignoring MACD because you can't trust the indicators 100%. Anyway, you need to give most of your attention to those analysis here. We'll put it on the increase of faster, faster, on much a rollback. We put a great deal and look. Excellent balance is growing, you can move on. So let's look for something else interesting. The word trend in volumes is, uh -huh. well, you need to trade. I'm afraid for a rollback, of course, here, but here the probability is small. So let's wait for the candle to close and trade down. Deal is open, so let's look. Excellent closing plus and the next candle appears sharply a little bit for me considering how the numbers are ticking here. There are small lags but I hope this will not affect much. By the way we have already get close to the deposit and the acceleration is accelerating well. That is such an amount is now very good. You can safely trade so an interesting currency pair is fast to buy the hour. Uh -huh. A good trend on the downside. Oh great. We trade on the downside the deal is open and we look at the perfect entry so i just couldn't even imagine is it better of course it would be better to trade it here but still we have already set the rollback very high and it will continue the downward adjustment will be so let's look Here everything was predicted perfectly. That's all I said that sometimes you know that when you realize that your knowledge is directly given to you by ways of earning money and this knowledge is working. It's so nice to feel you feel like a professional in some business. It's very cool now that we have about here. I said we'll try to this level approach and then pick out most likely we're trading down here. Urgently the deal is open and let's watch. Go 
Perfect just once again. Entry. What a good fellow. I I'm okay. Moving on here is already dangerous for now because there may be adjustments to this level. There is such a minimum that is broken now or sideways. It will turn out that way because there will be attempts to adjust the price to this minimum. Then there will be a decision on the market to sell or buy it. They come up with a buy. They will feel the minimum here if the price is best. Then the chart will go up and if you sell then it will continue to go down. Well, we'll just continue to look for currency pairs further. Oh, here's an interesting currency pair. Our trend has changed and there are volumes at the bottom. Okay, trending on a downgrade on a rollback is great. The deal is open with us. So we're waiting for a downgrade and yeah, we're looking The return is an adjustment. I still think that the volumes will go down here. They fall accordingly, even there was no attempt to go up. Well, it's probably down here. Just when we look at what happens here, let's look. Okay, apparently there is nothing to catch here at the end, it's very dangerous, there are still lines crossing this sliding one, so here at the bottom and the lows are still far away, you can't put on a downgrade, the deal is open, so we look. Well, what is chasing us returns, so I will not tempt fate. Volumes are growing up. Here we have volumes down well. There is no here. It does not look like a decrease. We trade on an increase. Here the deal is open and let's look. What started? You can make deals not for a refund, please, and not for a minus. Two, respectfully, we have no chance of error. We trend for an increase is the strongest. The trend for an increase is also a similar situation. Very much. I, I, I did not have time. Well, in such situations, if you put it on rollbacks, it's mandatory. Well, the, uh, what are you going to do? Why is it okay? So a good trend for in principle, there are constant such rollbacks and attempts to go up but it all boils down to one thing that it's just rollback so I missed the moment to enter so grow up you need to grow up a lot so you grew up and we put the deal open and let's watch Well, the deal closed and plus and is such a good one. Well, after all, I said they happen all the time. Okay, we're moving on. Finally, we got rid of three funds. Finally, the deal closed. We're looking for a bigger goal. Of course, it's still very little. It's not even overclocking. But if we take into account the amount with which we started, this is still some kind of overclocking. We turned one dollar at two hundred seventy-eight dollars, and what? Is it we have here for such volumes to increase so once again we are looking at a strong trend for an increase too all day it goes down but the volumes are on MACD but this is an interesting in general I don't really like pin bars before and I don't like to bet on pin bars at all the last thing I want is because as a rule my practice shows that anything can happen after pin bars and the second thing is volatility can jump so much such a candle can be so that a one minute deal is most dangerous so we will close and go on with currency pass we have a lot of more so here we have an interesting pattern the volumes are still up the trend continues to increase but here we have a reversal and large volumes to decrease because of which i'm not going to bet although you can say well you watched the trend on increase but be sure to take into account that i bet for one minute it means a lot that my deal is for a minute and the slightest fluctuation in price can ruin me now for the entire deposit so watching the daytime is not very interesting so well here it's down and an attempt to reverse and immediately go down again and the volume from above is a little bit here it's better to put on the trend not to put on MACD what we have here is a good level that is the range for the price to go big enough although such situations most likely rollbacks occur here but the deal is open so let's look
fine plus you can look further on the balance sheet is already a very good amount of almost five hundred dollars without four but it's already very close well the trend is down a good one such a trend is trade very good we put the deal open and let's look Excellent, the deal closed profitably and we can move further on the balance sheet. By the way, almost a thousand from one dollar. It's not bad, but we drove to look for a downward trend. The volumes are at the top. Well, here we need to have some courage for a minute. Okay, let's just look for those currency pairs on which we will understand what is happening. Well, by the way, the trend is still down. Volumes are good. It's been on me. Now it's interesting to trade here. Of course, because of such good volumes. Let's open a deal and let's watch. Now it is already clear that I myself have gone through difficult moments. An excellent plus and the balance is already very good we will trade two deals at 750 now we are looking for a currency pair so here we will see the trend down the trend up the volumes down on the hourly trend up we will not trade let's go on and see what's here yeah such a so-called reversal as if yes but here of course the minimums have started to be updated following below the previous one so let's say there is a reversal and the volumes we have are so strange here but no i still won't bet because why risk the sums are already good i'm not even ready to lose such an amount so of course i understand all the risks i'm aware of everything but i'm not going to i'm not interested in losing a deposit here just like that but what strong volumes are down look at what volumes and everywhere so currency pairs close when they want oh i won't trade even here the situation has worsened so so let's say our minimums have stopped updating maximums have been updated so the volumes are up good there it looks like some kind of reversal but at the very bottom i would trade if it bounces right down hard now well it bounced back a lot it didn't have time to open to deals perfectly let's watch This is a plus, honestly, I have already said goodbye to the video and said goodbye to the balance that, well, there was money left, but somehow, well, I probably wouldn't have sat down to accelerate, that is, I wouldn't have been in the plus, but it's still in the minus, what was it all? Okay, lucky, and that's bad, or what, when lucky is good, but not very good, of course, in terms of professional, so I can trade 1300, for example, there is no 1000, maximum of two deals for 1000 we now have to open a downward trend here some green candle has formed of course but now it has broken through and will now roll back if it redraws the shadow its body on the candle blocks here with this shadow this is the maximum in the form of a shadow then oh let's put and it's okay that's how great the deals are open and let's look Great, so you saw perfectly why I trade here. Okay, let's get back to a zigzag indicator. A little bit of the chronology of the video is broken because first the overlocking, then we will shoot the analysis of the strategy. But it's possible for you, I'll lay out everything and vice versa. Well, you know, now that the video is on the contrary, I have knowledge on this indicator. They are good, the base is present, the goal of 5000 was driven. Uh, a great plus and we move on. Uh, a great plus and we move on. Here, most likely, a strong trend reversal is already taking place and I only see the option to trade on a decline. Damn, I did not trade the whole amount once again. Everything is on the decline now. The whole amount is worth it, so let's watch. Uh, 
uh, we have a minus here. First transaction went into a refund. If I had traded everything at once, everything would just return to me. Okay. Well, what is going on here? Why are we moving up? Although we shouldn't do it if we think about it. It's worth getting your way here. Well, there was a such such a rollback on the scheme. I'm now trading it down and let's watch. Great, this is a plus for us and we can continue, but this time it's better to put the balance right away. A difficult situation on the rollback, we were lucky here, of course, for the most part, but nothing now, we are checking other time frames, hourly. Yeah. Here it was moving down and some kind of a strong shot, but didn't update for minimums and maximums, respectively, as if still down. Okay, we will look for something more pleasant. So we are trading down here. The deal is open, so let's watch. Okay, that was a great deal and plus and let's continue then to accelerate slowly. We're getting better and better. Where currency pairs are going, it's interesting. Well, the situation becomes more complicated. Of course, it will be difficult to trade in such a situation. Okay, maybe we can take something out somehow with this. Here's an interesting movement. The highs are not updated. The lows are updated. Here you can trade on a downgrade and we will do it. Fine. The deal is open. So Let's watch. Okay, that's just a great plus and we already have a very good amount on our balance sheet and order for things to go further. We're going to have some currency pairs now, so by the way, they have also opened, which is also cool. Let's look at the sentinels and see that our lows are updated, so the chart is moving down, respectively. We need to open the deal and let's look. So here we have our found, but I think that we need to drone for a reduction, so we will do it. It was registered, not there. I put it here. It was registered here, but what can I do? The deal is open. We continue to monitor the currency pair. Yeah, again, in the last seconds, roughly speaking, we were lucky for the most part. But this is a plus, so let's move on to the next currency pair. Probably that we will not stay on one currency pair for a long time. Now we will look at the next one. one of the examples of why it is necessary to view a large time frame on the minute it seems to us that the chart is going down because of these three large candlesticks. But objectively, if you look at our highs are updated and the lows are not updated so respectively, on the minute time frame we so completely false information. You might think that a strong downward trend and immediately go in, but it doesn't work like this. So we move on. We have an interesting situation here we have about the same level here so they do not allow us to go lower respectively there is no point in trying to lower something here closer to this we have everything at the top now that is we are observing a trend to increase well then we just have to trade it up here so we will make a deal open and let's watch Okay, that was very hard trading. After all, today's Friday evening, everything is closing very badly. We already have 1359 on the balance sheet, so let's bet 650 each. And it put it further up. I put it right on the pin bar. Pin bar is a sign that the nearest candle will be unstable. So there is a similar situation here. But here the minimum has not been updated at all, because the shadow and the zigzag 
shadow also takes so if this is the minimum then it has not updated the previous one respectively the trend continues to increase here no matter what it costed so it is not worth trading on a decrease here when we scalp we never bet against the trend it is just stupidity for with the rare exception of some indicators there they will prompt in this regard so here i'm a little afraid but something tells me that trade will go well i was afraid to trade here but you know better it's better to be insecure and not trade than to trade we should observe the opposite situation but now we will put it on the downgrade the deal is open and now we are watching Okay, as a result, a great plus and it was in the rollback, so everyone waited so perfectly, the moment drove on. Unfortunately, our moment of entry was still here. The indicator was drawn very timely. Well, this also happens. We don't get upset. We look further. So here we also have an increase. Um, okay, yeah, looks like an increase. Let's one, two, three. Let's look. Great. We have all the deals closed with a net plus. I think I can disperse up to the 10 while everything is going well. So damn, let's do it. So we continue our acceleration today. It's already Monday. The weekend has passed and our task still remains to reach $10,050. We already have $4,000 on our balance, which means that we will get there weekly. Now we will have a deal for $4,000. Look, situation, enjoy. And I will work to look for inputs. An interesting situation here. It can be traded on the increase fine. So let's open a deal and we just have to wait for the closing to look. So what happened with us on transactions and why two and minus? Okay, let's continue further. Also, here you need to trade on the increase, so the deals are open, so let's look. Okay, there is, we just finished perfectly with a good plus, yeah. There are questions for these two transactions. Okay. Well, today we have a video with so-called overclocken and we have only $10 in our balance. Well, now we start with a deal for one minute. I'm going to put a downward trend here. The alligator opened down. We will open the deal on a downgrade. And let's explain how the alligator indicator works for those who have entered for the first time. By the way, why did I get eight? Ah, okay. And for those who are watching my channel for the first time, in general, maybe I I started to be interested in trading for the first time. The alligator represents three lines, green, red, blue, that show us the direction. Do they go along with the schedule and how do they work at all? So everything is very simple. Or the alligator indicator is so called because it has, as it were, a mouth and teeth. His teeth are three lines of the mouth. This is when three lines intersect and diverge. When the lines crossed and diverge, it means that the jewels are open when the lines are in this position. Here it is a closed mouth and we don't trade here. That's when the mouth opens in any direction. This happens, you see. They all went down. And accordingly, we have trade down another on the main rules when trading for one minute, right? It turns out that we are scalping not to bet against the trend. By no means. Okay, so now we are moving on. We are looking for another currency pair. Also be careful, all lines must intersect. 
That is, there are situations when the opening of the mouth occurs but the lines have not crossed. If I find it, I'll show it now. So, in my opinion, I saw it right here. As you can see, the red and blue lines have not crossed. So this situation, although it worked out fine, but it is still dangerous. Do not trade in such moments, but they most likely are not going to intersect here because of such a large candle. Volatility jumped sharply and now the indicator is a little glocked. Here we have a mouth open for promotion and the trend is strongly for an increase. And accordingly you can trade, put the entire amount on the increase and immediately put here confidently the intersection of all lines has been opened for an increase. So let's watch. Great, this is another plus and we can move on. That is about the long opened mouth at the discretion of the guys, so everything is fine here, but here the maximum is not interrupt. A strong upward trend is unequivocal, so but the pin bar was formed, so that is it is dangerous for us to have 30 on the balance. So let's trade 17. Here we will have as it were an airbag, so called airbag in the form of $12. So if something goes wrong, we can continue. Yes, still it's minus here. Okay, well, we still have it. Our pillow is there. $13. We will continue now. There is an intersection here. I will not trade here yet. That is how not to trade here. So let's look at the trend. If it's strong on the downside, it's like that. So that is the minimal has broken through only once, the maximum two. Okay, such a currency pair. It is not very stable. I don't really like it. Still, I like it more than it is clearly visible that there is a strong upward trend or a strong downward trend. So the intersection was on the decline, but we are too low as if. Although here we have such a reversal, yes, we haven't updated that at the minimum yet, where there is a minimum here. So difficult situation again, we will not trade here. Okay, there is an intersection going on right now at this century. So it's interesting not to trade here either. So if there is a strong downward trend, then it will be possible. Again, the situation is strange. That is well. Okay, I will search. As soon as I find it, I will turn on. So, an interesting situation here is that we will trade the entire amount on the increase. We have to risk it already. Let's watch. Okay, this is a great plus and let's look for something else interesting. So, well, no, we go to the very beginning and look through all the current paths again. That is, it's only downward trend, but it's like this. So yeah, we're right at the beginning of everything. Accordingly, I will not longer put 60% of the rollback here, plus such a large candle makes absolutely no sense. Well, here we have rollback to increase, to increase rollback and decreases. So you see the volume and a huge candle again now we will not put an intersection here and a huge candle is not on the increase too i will not trade it here it feels like some strong economic news has come out so here you can trade on decrease uh, only when we roll back we trade on downgrade yeah the deal is open let's watch Great, this is a plus and you can move on. The balance is already 46.5, so okay, let's go on looking and let's see if this trend is really going down. No. Therefore, we go further. That is objectively, I try to highlight the following for myself. If I see that the mouth has been holding for a long time, here's how, for example, it was possible to trade here, although quite a lot of time has passed. So if the trend is upward on the hourly time frame or on the older one, who's watching there? The minimum time frame of 10 minutes should be for a reconciliation and I'm looking at this entry. If there is a strong trend to increase, again, to increase why not to trade here right right so uh, the mouth is open here for a very long time but if there is strong downtrend I 
poultry. There is downward trend here, but not much. That is again dangerous. Well, you can trade, let's do it this way. Let's trade down like this. So the deal is open and let's watch. Great, this plus is pretty clean and we can continue further. That's a good situation, we haven't broken through the minimum yet. We have literally a small window to jump into the deal, but if we add, of course, bring it closer, then we have a lateral movement started, right? But the trend is strong, I don't see it here, although we have this alligator started. So let's connect another indicator. In this case, there will be a MACD and we will see the volumes. Well, everything is clear, we are not trading here yet. You can see how the volumes are falling and are already moving up, therefore everything is fine until the end of the hour. Well, since I didn't have time, I didn't have time, okay, but it's better not to stand in such currency paths. If you start to figure out what kind of analysis to do and see that, well, somehow it doesn't add up right, all the information somehow does not work with each other and it is better to skip, even if everything went down there in the end. Yes, leave it alone and just switch to another currency pair. There is nothing too bad about it. So here we have an interesting situation. You can lower the rollback. Rollback great, but there was a rollback. So I just said for a reduction or for an increase, for an increase here. Yeah. In any case, we put it here because we have a strong trend to increase the alligator. It also talks about a race. So the only problem we have here is a small booth, but um, there is nothing terrible let's look exactly this is a plus and we will continue then we have 114 on the balance sheet so well here is an interesting situation we have a downward trend here all the time and as soon as it came out it has now broken through the heights it immediately rolled back even below the level that is, it can be seen here and the alligator has now turned around. That's why we're going to lower 114 here and let's watch. Okay, there are 29 felt, it seems, after our deal, moving on. Okay, 186 on balance, great. And let's trade. We still have a lot of work ahead of us, so we will not relax. So maximum, 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 maximum. We started updating in the negative, updated. So then a U-turn again and down. And now it shows the upward trend is still continuing. Here we have a downgrade indicator. It says, I will not trade here. I will not trade trade for decrease so here we have a minimum that can't break through in any way right Accordingly, here we see that people who talk down, we, add, we see here we have a minimum of not breaking through in any way. Accordingly, we close this currency pair. Let's move on. I don't even watch 54% of it, so it's a very low percentage. We will not risk. So we look further, we look further and there's nothing. We go from the very beginning and look again for a new currency pair. So here, of course, is the first currency pair that I have added here. They generally have some kind of mess going on here it's unclear how to trade them i don't imagine it's possible at all we are looking at a strong downward trend so we go to the hourly time frame and the minimums are not updated here and the upward trend that is how it is possible to trade on these currency pairs at the very beginning so here's an interesting point but something tells me that there is also an upward trend but our maximum has been updated updated and updated so and this is updated updated okay and at least not okay the trend for an increase at least now is one big red candle of a rather sharp one also let's see what is happening here it worked for an increase for a decrease it is unclear what happened you see it talks about a promotion but it went down a lot the intersection instantly worked out again for an increase but also again how i worked up and down that is there 
was lateral movement here so be careful and leave it here i think that any person with some kind of logic at least will not stand in such moments right so therefore we will not turn the downward trend into a strong downward trend here the indicator tells us the opposite next what's going down here let me guess the downward trend here it happens whether it was necessary to trade already when i saw that i turned down i didn't have time it's just that there are already some intersections i curve indicator i don't want to trade here anymore i could just trade here from the level and it would be fine here too is an interesting situation again right so well here the highs were updated the minimum of some kind began to be updated but it has not yet broken through anything that is in your head there should be such reasoning as i have i don't remove it on purpose leaving everything as it is as i think as i analyze graphs and you should gain experience with the help of me i've made a lot of mistakes before so i will definitely be able to give something some knowledge in any case so here i will trade on a decline just a good currency pair we had such a sideways movement which still led to the fact that the chart went down and broke through the minimum you see the minimum has been updated if we approximate the minimum here from which the chart could not in any way which the chart could not break but after a sideways movement and an attempt at some kind of reversal that is adjustment we still had a minimum broken and updated accordingly here we are sure that the chart is moving down respectively so we trade here That's great, that's a plus, the balance is 332, great, and you can continue to look for another currency pair, but here I will not put for obvious reasons, I will not trade, uh, I try to bypass with currency pair, there is a similar situation here, but the minimum has not been updated yet, so therefore I will not trade here. So let's move on. Here it tells us about the increase, it jumped a lot, but here the trend for an increase can even be set, so I'm afraid to bet on adjustments now as a rule after a large spike in volatility that is candlesticks begin to appear large there is an adjustment in the form of such large candles too but in the other direction which leads to an average level and to be honest i'm afraid to bet on such moments again we have 30 seconds now luminant it is unclear what is happening at all now the pin bar is standing therefore we will close this currency pair and go further we still have a lot of currency pairs ahead of us so don't get hung up on one thing well just keep moving then look for more a strong downward trend here moreover we had an attempt of some kind which has already rolled back a lot well you know i kind of think it's possible to trade here however we haven't updated that minimum and i don't like it no i'm not going to trade here the minimum is not updated accordingly the transaction can be here so minimum maximum maximum updated minimum updated 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 and maximum started updating again shows about the increase that is the upward trend okay here i will trade on the increase when the indicator shows the opportunity to go for an increase right now it is closed for the time being it will not be possible to trade here what do we have here there is a strong upward trend and clearly an upward trend but here the bet i think can be seen on the video because we have two lines that didn't intersect it is dangerous so we don't trade here just moving on we have a rollback here to this level so i'll mark myself here now so let's see the level if it bounces by the way we also had a breakthrough the maximum was updated and rolled back that is it may mean that there will be strong surge now that is now it can jump up sharply but come on we know how to do it we will now connect with you again and you one more indicator well not new MACD so let's see volumes and here I observe by the way we don't have a triangle here you don't get a triangle here so now I'm looking from here so let's say like this here everyone is talking about what will go up when the rebound if there is a rebound by the way here it is a rebound at least in the shape but there is no i'll leave this currency pair now i'll move on the trend is on the rise there will be an intersection soon i'll trade in advance so let's watch
great. A great plus. I'm betting here again on a race. What is it? Oops. On the increase, once again, we put the deal open here and let's watch. Great, this is a plus. So a new currency pair. We are looking at a trend, a trend for an increase, and we will need to open a deal for an increase. So let's do it and let's watch. Okay, excellent plus, and we move on. So 65%, well, there was no intersection here. This is a trend for us to increase, a strong trend for an increase, there is sideways movement. Look, here they touched us, but didn't intersect. So we crossed pens here, that is we had auditors. Now I think it's quite possible to trade here. So let's make two deals of 600 for a rollback for an increase. So let's do it, and we still have seven $700 left in case of a failure transaction, so let's watch. It's just on the edge. I will no longer bet in such situations. Okay, let's go. Again, we have come to these currency pairs. After the trends, they began to have such sideways movements strange, incomprehensible. Yes, the lows are not breaking through. That is, we are walking right on the edge here. As you see, here is the last minimum and this minimum does not break through the next candle in any way. Well, the next moment, that is well. Yes, they come in as a shadow, but they come back every time that is we conclude that we can roll back here every time and i explain again by the example here when the candle will be right here at the level of these candles that is to make it even easier to understand here i marked the border and when the next candle turns out to here from this border you can bet on an increase in any case even if the indicator tells us about the decline and so on that is we are constantly rebounding so our currency pair is the next one on which we will trade and we will stand now for a rollback. Wait, it has grown up and I also want more that the candle has grown. That is, I expect it to grow at least a level. So this probably can be put on a rollback, that is on a decline. Well, here, for obvious reasons, there is also a strong downward trend, but it didn't happen, it didn't happen and so it goes down. I will wait anyway, now like this, come on, let's grow up again again please we open two deals for a reduction here and let's watch And great, both deals are in plus and you can continue. I think even here it will be possible to put one more time and I will do so. Two more deals are down here, three short trades, sorry, let's watch. You and I have just lost 1000 and returned 2000 and open it again. Okay, but still in a small minus, well, um, what I expected is happening, so let's continue to look for what we have here. The maximum has been updated and gone down, so it doesn't fit. Um, so interesting is the situation that's on the chart here. The second downgrade has not updated anything. We go further, so let's look. And so, but here's an interesting situation. Here we have a trend for an increase, and which now also tells us about an increase, and we will not stand for for such a candle for obvious reasons, but after that it would be possible, so that's why I didn't trade. Here I saw a sharp jump down. It was clear that it was necessary to stand for promotion, because who does not take risks? No, we won't take any chances, only if there is a strong pullback, I will trade. I will not trade it yet, so I have opened up about quality for an increase. I still have two deals, that is a strong rollback, now I'll pull two more. In the meanwhile, we're watching. Wow, just look at this, I did it! And we got $6,500 from just $10.
Okay, and let's get back to our overclocken and this overclocken will probably be the easiest because $100 is such an amount with which literally 10 consecutive pluses and everything will go very quickly. So as you can see, there is not a single indicator on my screen right now. This means that we are scalping today. Without indicators, we look at the level, analyze the charts and let's see if I can make this video in one day. Perhaps this video will last for several days. I will try to achieve everything I need in a certain period that is today. So let's go. What is the logic? How do we work? Well, we see some kind of graph. Yes, we see some kind of graph if we are interested and we are primarily interested in the percentage of payments and we begin to analyze it. First of all, we go to the higher time frame and check what is happening constantly for an increase. A downward trend by updating the highs, the graph unfolded by updating the minimum the schedule has unfolded and now so far well somewhere we updated something but mostly it didn't accordingly I conclude that we continue to have an upward trend a downward trend but it is not very favorable therefore for the time being some indicators will not be traded here we will connect them so let's look at the century here well in parallel if some indicator is turned on for example there is a stochastic I do not know well, well, here's something like that, then I'll explain how this indicator works. Well, in simple words, that is quickly if you are interested. I have a lot of indicators recorded. There is on the channel, you can go in and see. And so the downward trend has been updated at least. Now at the top, it went down again slowly. So well, strangeness here is not very good. I'm not very satisfied with the problem with such moments. Then there is a lot of volatility, then a small one, then a sideways movement and one that moves down a little bit all the time there is definitely a downward trend here but now there are two green candles on which i will not trade so let's keep looking and in general when i trade according on this scheme i like to find charts that clearly and clearly show in which direction the trend moves so when it turns out to trade right well so it's interesting here the situation will be quickly reviewed by the century great you can put it down the deal will be open here and let's watch Great, this is a plus and I think even here we can trade again, but we won't have much time. So, okay, so far the indicator has worked, cool. Let's look at more currency pairs. Well, here you can trade it on a decrease and the only thing is to look at this trend again. Well, yes, it was going down here, so we'll trade it on quickly and it's always coming out to us to make a deposit, but that's all right, we have two deals for $80 and and $100 open. I didn't manage to change the deposit amount, the amount of the transaction. Well, it's okay, so let's watch. happened here but the main thing is that our main deal closed with a plus and in any case but we in fact trembled on the spot and we had 180 it became 185 dollars okay let's see the hourly time frame on this chart is going down for a decrease and at least there are two candles formed i think it's worth trading the whole amount of the downgrade right now okay let's watch Great. Okay, here we have also a plus. Then every time 100% of styles off, we trade it like this here. Perhaps I'll ignore it. I'll put the indicator on a decrease, but I wanted to put it down here. They didn't trade it down anymore, and apparently this is how it happens. And every time I'm going to do it, it happens then. Very at the wrong time, but I need more rollback than this. We have a little bit of excellent left. Just the deal is open for a downgrade and let's look great that's a great plus and there is a strong downward trend here by the way on such a topic you can now 
uh, well, you can make good money on such a trend. So what's the logic? Now, as I want to trade after a strong jump down, there will be some kind of adjustment for any reason, and after this adjustment, our trend will continue to decline, and here it is an adjustment. And right now, opening a deal to lower another one by 100%. And let's see what happens. So great, is a pretty clean plus? Well, that is, as I said, it is now closing again. It will be green, it will go up. Well, that is the downward trend may continue today and so on and so and so, but then the lows were updated, which immediately adjusted back. That indicator, it says, is going down and here you see there was also a decrease. This is a U-turn and now it's 52% again. And what am I doing at all? I'll tell you so interesting this situation you can not trade now unfortunately and i didn't trade two deals for 550 and we are now also opening a little further two deals for 550 opened and let's watch this plus been upset here i was certain that it would be minus but it's a plus and we can continue further on the balance sheet already two thousand dollars this means that we will now trade one thousand on the deal so an interesting point can be traded here for an increase but we will do uh so at the bottom and we have no volatility at all we open the deals on the increase and let's watch <laughs> we have a great plus it's the same video for you for me it was the next day that it was not possible to record the full video yesterday so i will continue to record the video today with 100 overclocking yes so we continue to simply trade look for good currency pairs and i have a stochastic just for help not to trade it so here i will trade three trades on the downside quick quick okay down let's open another deal too and let's take a chance here for some reason i am sure that i predicted everything very correctly here is a good downward movement so let's watch <laughs> Great, that's just a great plus. So here is our next currency pair and we are also betting on a decline and we have $600 left. This is our kind of safe balance left and if this deal is now closing in plus when we finish and the video comes out, I have time to record everything in one week. It will be just cool. So wait a minute, even less than a minute, let's take a look. The deal will close and I'll be back. This is a great plus and uh, on the balance sheet we even exceeded the plan. The goal was $10,000 and we have 11,441 on the balance. So, well, 11.5. So, let's say, right? And that's all I have here such an overclocking is not easy. It was difficult, but we achieved the necessary balance. So, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and just write a comment.